Good morning, Mahogany. Good morning, Kiana. Yeah, speaking of which, I'm really excited for Christmas. <laughs> for yes, Christmas? Christmas? We're already thinking about Christmas. Let's get through Halloween. I gotta get through yes, Halloween. Yes, let's get through Halloween and Thanksgiving. And yeah, Thanksgiving, let's, yes. Let's skip the Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. I mean, Thanksgiving isn't that bad. My yeah, favorite part get about Thanksgiving eat. is the parade, which they have in New York. Yes. I would love to see the Macy's Day Parade in person one day, but then I think about all of the crazy like people around me, and that gives me like, oh, I don't think I can handle that. I've seen the parade in person before. Good morning, Jemaya. You have? That's awesome. Well, when are they going to do the parade this year? Stop. I'm not sure with the virus if they're going to have the parades. Just like I know a lot I mean, of places canceled 4th of July. I wonder if they're going to cancel parades because of people around each other. And it's like right in the middle yeah. of flu season. So it's like, how do you know if it's you know, COVID-19 or flu? It's a little it concerning. Yeah, half 10 half. 20% chance there might be a parade. Yep. So the, so the funniest thing about the Thanksgiving parade, at the end of the parade, they would always have Santa. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the best part. That is. I think that they bring Santa out is because, is because the representing, represent, Representing that Christmas is coming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So we're gonna start. That's a good observation. Because I just realized it's already nine fifty. I love chatting in the morning though. That's better than anything else. Um, I do want to give you guys a heads up about a couple things today. So let me get started. Ah. So ah, too far. Okay. First, you. Know, as a reminder, keeping your microphones on mute while the meetings are going on, you know, unless you're coming off to talk with us, just so that there's not like that echo or background noise going on. Today is Tuesday, so I'm going to click on my Tuesday button. So if you could invent something that would make life better for people anywhere in the world, well, what would it be? And you can use the chat box or you can come off mute. Nicholas? Me? I would invent non-chargeable phones. Mm. That way, people won't be able to charge their phones. It'll still be on 100%. Mm. Mm, that would be cool. Nija? I would try to make a cure for coronavirus because everyone yes. needs that. Yes, that, that would be a great invention that I hope someone comes up with soon. And I would love to not have to charge my phone anymore because I it dies all day. All right, let's look and see if I get my chat box to load over here. No one put anything in the chat yet, so I think we're they're thinking. Okay. I think we're thinking. And you can always come Something. off mute. Other people, if you want, you don't want to type it, you can come off mute and just talk as well. Yeah, we have a small enough group of fifteen of you in here that that's okay. Could invent anything. If I was gonna I invent something, I would um, invent. Um, I will. Um, what would I? I would love to invent something that would teleport you wherever you wanted to go. So, like, if I wanted to go to Florida, I could just like get into this machine and then be in Florida instantly. So I didn't have to drive everywhere I wanted to go and be able to go anywhere in the world in an instant. And I think yes. that would be amazing. That is cool. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, Zymir has his hair and race. Go ahead, Zymir. Maybe it was on accident. Alright. 
So if you think of something, you can stick it in the chat box or raise your hand. We're going to keep it moving to Tuesday. Ah, too far. Okay. So today in science, you have a density demonstration uh, video, and there's some questions for you to answer with that. So make sure you're taking your time. Um, when I watch a video and I know I have questions, what I do is I write down on a piece of paper what those questions are. And then I watch the video. And then as I get to the video and it, one of those questions get answers, I hit pause in the middle of the video or wherever I'm at, write down my answer, and then continue the video. That way I don't have to like go back and rewatch it. And it lets me like think through you know, what's happening and kind of answer the questions as I go. So that's just kind of a hint. And then you have your states of matter corrections. You can take this quiz of eight questions three times. Um, to get your highest score and that is from a past quiz that we took so that you can kind of go back. A lot of these questions are similar to what's going to be on your unit test this week. So if you missed yesterday's live session of going over our testing strategies, I did post that video. So go back and watch it because uh, we also go through the study guide a little bit for science, um, you know, to help you prepare for this unit one test. Uh, I will let you know that that grade is actually going to go on your quarter two report card because I want to make sure everyone has a chance to do it. So I'm going to make sure that, you know, it's not on this report card. It's going to be on the next report card. Um, but that means it's your first grade of the next report card. So you want it to start out strong. You want that to be a really good grade. All right, and then as far as math goes, you uh, today we're going to have our live lesson in math. Uh, right after here, it's on constant speed, and I'm actually going to be taking you all outside with my daughters to do this. It's going to be interesting. Uh, my office hours are from 2 to 3 o'clock today if you need some help. All missing work must be done by Thursday. If you have a missing or a zero in any of your grades on power school it needs to be made up by thursday right now i've graded everything that will be on your report card as of last night i graded everything so if you look in there and if your grade is not what you want it to be we need to get that fixed come to my office hours and i can work with you um and then wednesday at one o'clock so that's tomorrow uh, we have a special school-wide energy like program we have a special guest coming in to do a uh, speaking thing it's supposed to be fun so please come to that and then the last thing i want to touch on really quick is virtual clubs uh, i posted an announcement uh, so make sure you go check out that announcement in science about our virtual clubs because if you're interested in doing them this is rush week which means everyone's having sessions for you to kind of join and see um so yeah uh, miss brown you want to take it over Yes, yeah, so in ELA, you have to identify some figurative language in the three stanzas of Casey at the back. Um, so I have the poem there. I also have an audio if you want to hear them saying Casey at the back. Um, but you have to identify at least three figurative languages from that. Um, in social studies, we have a live session today and we're going somewhere special. Um, so I want you guys to come on through and see where we go. And we're also going to be doing some vocabulary words um, and other cool things. I do have an extra credit opportunity. It is listed on Friday, but it is due by Friday. Um, I linked a video of me explaining the extra credit opportunity. If you want to bring up your grade or if you want your grade to stay high, I would recommend you do that. Um, as always, I have my office hours from 1 to 2. If you watch the video and you say, hey, I don't understand the extra credit, come to my office hours today and I'll explain it. Um, so I'll see you guys at 11. All right. So I'm going to give us about five minutes before our next session. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the end of our morning meeting. Um, 